Okay, the first thing you're going to want to do when you do a poor man's head cast is you're going to want to put saran wrap over your hair so you don't get plaster in it, and then you're going to want to tape down the edges with duct tape. Then you're going to want to lay out some strips of different lengths of plaster bandage and uh, a pan of water nearby. Uh, now what Gail Gallagher, uh, producer and head cast maker extraordinaire is doing is she's getting a nice thick layer going all the way around the back side of my head right kinda down the middle and then she's building a, a ridge right around the edge and that's where the two mold halves are gonna come together and that ridge will help the two halves sort of lock together. Now she's rubbing Vaseline along the edges of that uh, that ridge so that when she makes the next half she can separate them easily enough. So now she's starting to build up layers trying to make them equal, trying to make them balance. When she gets to my face she's careful not to block my nostrils so that I can breathe and she's kind of laying the pieces on carefully and she's sort of working in little patches so that the weight doesn't drag down my face and distort my face. So she's working little bits and she's kind of letting it firm up as she goes so so that my face remains somewhat, you know, somewhat not distorted. Now she layers up a couple of more layers of plaster to make it uh, a nice strong uh, coat of plaster bandage. And then after some cure time, She makes a couple of hash marks with a magic marker and that's so that we know where the mold goes back together. Now what she's doing is she's sort of carefully pushing the two halves apart along that join line where the Vaseline was and I'm leaning forward so that the natural weight, the gravity, will, will pull that mold half off of my face. I'm flexing my face and breaking my face loose from the plaster and I'm leaning forward and boom it just pops off more or less on its own and then you'll see how easily the back half will pull off. There you go. Poor man's head cast. Where's the tape from? Was the tape on your face or did you add it? No, I added it because I had to have something to hold it together. If it had been a slightly heavier plaster jacket, I probably could have used ratchet straps and strapped it together, but I needed something to hold it together before I, so I could get the plaster around it. Because otherwise I was trying to hold two halves together and wrap it with plaster at the same time. Okay. So the tape just kind of served to... And once you get to this point, you don't intend to reuse the cast we did last night, is that right? Oh, no, no, it's, it's pretty much disintegrated. That is the plaster we are seeing now. A little rough in places, but 